All right, so we can add alkyl halides to our benzene ring, but we can add other things as well. So we can do what's called sulfonation to add a sulfonic acid group to our compound. And so the way that this is done is through the use of fuming sulfuric acid. So you might see it being called fuming sulfuric acid, which is really just SO3 in sulfuric acid, right? So you might see either one of these things, they mean the same thing. They're both going to add a sulfonic acid group to this. So what that is, is a sulfur double bonded to two oxygens and then singly bonded to an OH. Of course, you can abbreviate this to be an SO3H. Uh, so the reason that we can do this is because if we think about SO3, the sulfur is doubly bound to two oxygen or to three oxygens. Oxygen is, of course, more electronegative than our sulfur, which makes this um, sulfur in the middle very electrophilic. And there are other reasons as well. It's not just um, that the oxygens are more electronegative. It also has to do with the um, overlap of the uh, pi bonds between the sulfur and the oxygen. The sulfur is much larger than the oxygen. And so what we have here um, is poor overlap, right? The reason that it's larger, right? This is a 3p orbital. This is just a 2p orbital. Um, and so we have poor overlap, which um, help doesn't allow the sulfur to be as electron rich as you may think it is. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this mechanism. It should be very familiar to the previous mechanisms with just some small twists. So again, we have our aromatic ring. That's going to be the nucleophile. We have our SO3. That's going to be the electrophile. Our nucleophile is going to attack our electrophile. But in this case, we're also going to add this additional step of one of the sulfur oxygen double bonds breaking. After that, we've got our sigma complex, a now negative charge on that um, oxygen. And then we're going to deprotonate this. Um, sulfuric acid is always going to have some water in there. So the best base is probably going to be water here break our carbon-hydrogen bond to form a carbon-carbon pi bond. And then we just protonate our um, SO3 with just an acidic proton, right? So you can draw this coming from the sulfuric acid, or you can just draw H plus to represent the sulfuric acid. Either one is fine. Right, and then we have our final product. We have it sulfonated. Um, you'll see different mechanisms of this, different versions of the mechanism here. I reacted it with uh, SO3, but you can react or you can draw it react with um, SO3H plus as well, if you'd like. There's more than one valid way to draw this mechanism. Um, the really cool thing about this sulfonation is that it's reversible. So what we can do is we can take our aromatic ring, and if we react it with concentrated fuming sulfuric acid, we will sulfonate our aromatic system. However, if we react it with dilute sulfuric acid, we will desulfonate our reaction. And later on, we'll see how this is a, a very useful tool to do some more complex synthesis.